So I'm taking y'all all over the south, down a turn road, on a creek bank. Ooh, wait. Any questions for me? I don't write them all. I do write. You know, when I first moved to Nashville, when I was 19 years old, you know, I know a little bit about songwriting. And I met up with a, a buddy of mine who's my best friend now. His name's Forrest Glenn Whitehead, who uh, I wrote a, I wrote Turn Rose with. I wrote mm 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 with. And he's taught me a lot, you know. He's just, he's one of them guys where it's just God-given, you know. It's just, his writing is just unbelievable. And so he's taught me a lot. So, yeah, I wrote five out of the 11 on the album, so that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And does the album come out soon? That's a good question. The single, which I'll play in a minute. Have you heard it? No. Oh, okay. You act like you did. I was like, have you heard it? Uh, it'll be out on iTunes February 12th and hopefully be on a radio station near you. The bull. <clears throat> June 3rd is the ad date, so... Come on, call in, request it. So, yeah, I'm excited. So sometime after June 3rd, if the single starts doing well, we'll get the album out. So, yeah, it's a good deal. Well, I'm going to slow it down real quick. Um, this song I didn't write. I wish I would have. It's one of them songs where when you hear it the first time, you're like, man, I'm going to sing that song for the rest of my life. And it's just one of them songs. And, uh... It really has a special meaning to me now because it's called Granddaddy's Gun, and uh, a week and a half ago, we lost our granddaddy. And I'm a huge hunter, you know, and I remember I'm a huge duck hunter too, and so this was back in duck season, which is a couple of months ago. I was like, hey, granddad, can I, can I borrow your gun to go duck hunting in the morning? And he's sitting there watching TV, and he looks up at me, he says, son, there's two things I never lend. That's my woman, and that's my gun. <laughs> and I just smiled. I was like, all right, then. And so uh, I was out on radio tour when I got the call. You know, he's not doing well. And by the time I got there, it was, you know, he was still alive, but just not really all there. And so my dad told me, he said, he told my grandma, he said, give Dylan that 12 gauge. So that means a lot to me. So this song has a special meaning to me. It's called Granddaddy's Gun. It sits above the mantel on a couple rusty nails. And it's worth a bunch of money, but it dang sure ain't for sale. The good Lord only knows all the stories it could tell. Granddaddy's gone. Well, he bought it new out of the Sears and Roebuck catalog. It shot a mini shell over the top of an old bird dog And it backed a burglar down when Grandma pushed the safety off Granddaddy's gun It's just a double barrel twelve The stock is cracked and it kicks like hell It wouldn't mean what it means to me to no one I can hear his voice when I put it to my shoulder A gun's like a woman, son, it's all in how you hold her He taught me a whole lot more than how to hunt One of these days I'll pass it on to my son Granddaddy's gun well, he handed it to me on the day I turned 13 with a half shot box of shells and a kit to keep it clean. I keep a picture in the case of that sweet old man and me with granddaddy's gun. It's just a double barrel twelve. The stock is cracked and it kicks like hell. It wouldn't mean what it means to me to no one. I can hear his voice when I put it to my shoulder A gun's like a woman, son, it's all in how you hold her He taught me a whole lot more than how to hunt And one of these days 
says I'll pass it on to my son, granddaddy's gun. There's a green head living on the living room wall I got with my duck call and granddaddy's gun. There's a shot of stop sign on 49 Me and the boys took out one night with granddaddy's gun. Well, it sits above the mantel on a couple rusty nails and it's worth a bunch of money but it dang sure ain't for sale thank y'all so you having a good time